Russian soldiers were filmed running for their lives after Ukrainians targeted Antonov airfield near Kiev. Ukrainian quadcopter UAVs opened fire on Russian equipment and soldiers at Antonov airfield, northwest of Kiev. Footage captured the moment artillery rained down on dozens of V-marked vehicles which used the open area as a base. A Russian source is claimed to have criticized the first aid kits given to soldiers. They wrote on Telegram, Tate could not destroy them because there was no CUSEW systems to stop them so we had to shoot them. After eliminating one enemy cell, we began to examine the bodies and looked at a set of their first aid kits that are issued. Meanwhile, Russian troops were slowly advancing towards the city center in Severodonetsk, a regional governor said on Tuesday, giving an update from a pocket of Ukrainian resistance that has held back the broader Russian offensive in the eastern Donbass region. Suri Gaidai, the governor of the Luhansk region, told Ukrainian state television that there were some 15,000 civilians left in Severodonetsk, as most of the city's 120,000 people had fled the brutal bombardment by Russian artillery. Preparing for the worst, Gadai said Ukrainian troops defending Severodonetsk could retreat across the Siversky Donetsk River to the city of Lysikansk to escape encirclement. As the Russian offensive continued across Ukraine's eastern Donbass region, the European Union on Monday agreed to ban most imports of Russian oil, a move intended to blow a hole in the Kremlin's war finances. In the bloc's toughest sanction on Moscow since the invasion of Ukraine three months ago, European Council President Charles Michel said the ban agreed at an EU summit in Brussels on Monday would immediately cover more than two-thirds of oil imports from Russia and cut a huge source of financing for its war machine. EU leaders said they had agreed to cut 90% of oil imports from Russia by the end of this year, with exemptions for Hungary a landlocked country that relies heavily on crude pipe from Russia and others concerned about the ban's economic impact. The announcement came as Russian forces pushed into key objectives in the Donbass, where Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the situation remained extremely difficult. Russia has been seeking to seize the entire Donbass, consisting of Luhansk and Donetsk which Moscow claims on behalf of separatist proxies. Capturing the twin cities of Severodonetsk and Lysikansk would give Moscow effective control of Luhansk and allow the Kremlin to declare some form of victory after more than three months of war. The leader of the Moscow-backed Luhansk People's Republic, Leonid Pasechnik, told TASS that a third of Severodonetsk was already under our control, but progress was less rapid than hoped. <laughs> <laughs>